Greetings, my fellow dwellers beneath the firmament, and a very warm welcome to you all. So I was just chilling on the couch the other day watching the footy, and my accountant doesn't usually disturb me when I'm watching the footy, unless the house is burning down and she hasn't been able to put it out herself. But there she was, standing in the doorway, with her arms folded. Listen, you. Me and my girls were chatting about your channel the other day, yeah? How could... In my head, I was thinking, this is an important conversation right now. But then I remembered, the only way you get to continue watching the football is compliance. So she continued. Why haven't you done a restoration of a lady's watch yet? Have you got something against my species? Guys, don't worry. I have all my lines rehearsed for every eventuality when it comes to my accountant. So without flinching or any hesitation, I said, Of course not, love. I just haven't had one in that's battered, because women always look after their stuff, innit? Oh, and your hair looks lovely today. And by the way, I think we need more scatter cushions on the couch. See how I added that last bit in to show her that I was in touch with the, fam the, f the female, the feminine race, species, the aliens. That I was in touch with my feminine side. Oh boy, so I better put the kettle on. I'm even recording this on full 4K to appease my ball and chain so after rummaging through all my recycled junk i managed to find this lady's tiso tiso was founded in 1853 and has been omega's sister company since 1930 both omega and tiso are now owned by the swatch group this particular piece is known as the visodat or visodate with the 17 jewel manual wind movement stamped 716 which is an eta 2363 it has a sweep seconds and a non-quick set calendar. And surprisingly, I don't recall ever coming across one. It was in production for about a decade, from the late 1950s till the late 1960s. I mean, my fingers are tiny, but this watch is tiny. Compared that to my big fat thumb. In 1953, Tiso was celebrating its 100th birthday and to celebrate, they decided to launch some very innovative watches. And one of those innovative watches was the first ever Tissot Visodat. And the Visodat range still remains a part of Tissot's lineup. Police. Now there's a brand that's gone out of fashion. Just I found a stem for the movement. Just gonna put a temporary crown on it, just so I can adjust the hands. Police. I could put a diesel Big Daddy one on. Actually, in order so that I don't get in trouble, I think I'll use that one. Yeah, I'll use the pink one instead. Ta da! Oh. Oh no! Not Tana. Okay, let's try that again. Tana. There you go. What a beautiful watch and a beautiful crown. It's on my pinky. This is my monkey little pinky. And it fits. I've run out of one millimeter screwdriver tips. 
So I'm going to use Trouble's screwdriver. Threaded screw. Look at the state of Trouble's screwdriver. You can use this stuff to sharpen your screwdrivers, a little tool here, you just stick it in there, line it up and then you can do that, do that, but I like to just go freehand. Turn it over in that tiny little calendar mechanism. That's cool. On the day that I need my one mil screwdriver more than ever, I snapped it and I don't have any more bits. I'm having to use Trouble's screwdriver. I hope he doesn't mind. Should have done my eyelash comparison test on this movement because it's tiny. What's this? Oh, that's cool. I'll use my 1.2. There's another cheeky little spring here. Here's the setting lever with the setting lever screw. Keep it as a souvenir. All stripped down, patented. Ooh. There's no branding on it. I was expecting a lot more rust, but there isn't much and I'm not complaining. Just had this in the wash. I thought it'd be interesting to show you guys how to polish There's the bezel, how to polish uh, a plexiglass by hand. Okay, so the first thing to do is you know, to scratch it up even more. It's best to start off with something a bit higher. And all you wanna do is scratch it more and more until you get those big scratches to become smaller scratches. And then we will use some polywatch or you can use any other polishing compound. I'll put a link to this in my Amazon page link thingy. So I'll just continue on with this and make sure I get out all those deep tick scratches. I've managed to get rid of all the deep ones. Obviously this is plexiglass so it's really soft. So you can just use maybe 600 and then go up to 1200 if it's not too bad. And then you can just use the poly watch to give it a shine. Yeah, I think that should be okay. This plexiglass is probably the size of a 5P. Not much to hold on to. And make sure you don't scratch up the underside while you're at it. Yeah, that'll do. Get yourself a clean cloth and just give it a good old scrub. See that? Just a few rubs. 
and it's already coming up so i'm just gonna do that keep on doing that it's looking a lot better now what am i going to do with this case because as you can see the gold plating is quite thick on there Ugh, that's a lot of gold to remove just for this small section here you can just about see about 20 microns yeah i'm not gonna bother to uh, restore the case correction i am gonna restore the case this case back is okay it's got a few tool marks so i'm not gonna bother with the case back correction i am gonna restore the case back you can see the case back is really small so i've just mounted it on my small watchmaker's lathe so that i can maybe polish this by hand and then apply that straight grain in the middle You can get a small piece of felt or even a bit of cloth and put your polishing compound on that and finish off the final polish on the outside. Just needs a little wash. Mm. It's about 20 microns, the original thickness. And we have still a fair bit of that still left on. So we'll polish everything by hand. There's the bezel, we try to just buff the gold plating up without removing too many of the, the deep stuff because it is gold plated and we didn't want to remove the gold plating because it was quite decent and the same with the case as you can see by the crown you can see my greasy fingers all over it yeah she will be happy i hope otherwise there will be consequences that's the screw for the setting lever of d5 on there you can put the barrel bridge in let's do a bit of oiling there's no oil charts for this d5 so 90 10 d5 Then we'll put a little bit of D5 for the shouldered screw. Let's put this screw in so that we can rest in peace. I do love working on women's watches. We have D5 on this post here. We have this core here. We put some on the core crown wheel let's put a bit more d5 why not that shouldered reverse threaded screw will go oh i hope i'm recording all this 
otherwise I'm gonna be here all night give it a little try everything is gonna be nice and free free uh, right let's have a tea break a bit more oily on this side focus Daniel son oh no <laughs> what a doofus I've got to break free pink crown is getting in the way look at that beautiful pink crown I'm so in touch don't need D5 here a dozy bugger that's the setting levers in Okay then, now what shall we do? Shall we have some more tea? She needs hair. Looks springing. Like so. Sliding pinion. Just in the middle there. And then you can just wipe off the excess. Setting lever spring, stroke, keyless cover. Oh, hello. Yes, I will have another cup of tea, thank you. Hold on. Hello, mate. What's this? Tea. Is that my tea? Are you going to help me do some recording? I heard you're a good cameraman. Is that true? Come on. I'm not good. You are? My tea's here. Mm. That sits underneath. Yeah. This is a weird little setup, but if that's how it is, then that's how it is. Who am I to complain? Fits in that little hole there. As you see? Hole. Post. Post. Hold. I heard you understand what jokes are. Is that true? Yeah, what's Bruce Lee's vegan brother's name? What's Bruce Lee's what? Vegan brother. Vegan brother? Yeah. What's his name? Yeah. I don't know. What's Bruce Lee's vegan brother's name? Do you never know what a vegan is? No, bro. He likes it. Go on then. Broccoli. <laughs> okay. Broccoli. That's funny. Put a bit of D5. So if you look at this kind of pinion here. So I think it might be a good idea to put a bit of grois. I'm assuming that's how it works. Now this screw is smaller than a nut's nut. I can never seem to show you guys a good shot of me oiling the pallet jewels once it's installed. I'm gonna see if I can do it before I install it. If you do it before you install it, well if you can't get it in first time, then that oil is going to go somewhere else. Look at my holy gloves. If there's power in the mainspring, then that should just want to go. Get on with it.
Boom. You're looking for this. Show you guys some cowboy techniques if you don't fancy getting out your staking blocks and stuff. I've got some holes on my workbench which were created by some termites. Not me. Not me. You can just wipe it clean. That's a cowboy technique for today. Yeehaw! Boy, I hope this video does well, otherwise there will be repercussions. I thought you said you had the most compassionate and most intelligent subscribers on the whole of YouTube. Why aren't they watching a woman's watch being restored? They are watching it, love. But maybe they're just busy this week. Oh, and did I tell you I think we need more scatter cushions? Yeah, I'll do. Now we can get rid of our pink crown Feeling down hmm. Right, so on the Cartier video that I did A lot of you were like Joe, you chose the wrong strap, dude! Well, I don't always get to choose the straps Sometimes the client's choice is the client's choice. So this week I thought I'll let you guys choose. I don't know how to use that voting polling card thing on YouTube. So instead what we'll do is see that red rectangle on the bottom of your screen on the right hand side. Yes, that one. If you guys want me to choose a strap from this pile, then hit that red box thingy here if you don't press that box thingy here then i'll assume you prefer this strap okay <laughs> the female of the species is more deadlier than the male so go and have a look at that cartier video and let me know what you think of the strap. It's also, I've been told, a very cool video. The female of the species is more deadlier than the male. Oh, no, no, no. And so, I'm nearly done here, folks. I've really enjoyed making this video. Now most of you guys who watch all my videos will have noticed that I do take the mic out of my accountant quite a bit. But most of you will also realize and understand that when I invoke my accountant's name in my videos, it is purely out of jest. But some of you may not understand the banter, so I thought this would be the perfect video to share some of my views. What do you reckon? And the way I see it, our women are our mothers, our sisters, our daughters, our wives. They should be respected and treated with kindness and fairness. It's not their fault they're an alien race. My analogy for my own lovely lady is that she is like a silk thread. She's soft and gentle, yet tough as steel. And it's that silk thread that keeps my chaotic life sewn together so it doesn't fall apart at the seams. And I say all this not because I'm scared that she'll be watching this later, but because I too have a mother and sisters and a daughter. Some of you may find these outdated, but here's a couple of old fashioned quotes that I find really cool. A real man knows how to respect a woman because he knows the feeling if someone would disrespect his mother and it's a man's job to respect women but it's a woman's job to give him something to respect hint hint instagram tiktok and that goes both ways okay sermon over so my naked watchmaker family 
do show show your love for this video otherwise jojo will be in a lot of trouble so until next time folks look after yourselves and look after one another peace love and blessings to you all and if the almighty wills i'll see you on the next one tara arabi Go on then, tell me another joke. When does a duck wake up? When does a duck wake up? Yeah. Quack of dawn. The quack of dawn? Mm -hmm. My jokes are epic. How many male chauvinists does it take to change a light bulb? A thousand? A thousand? Mm -hmm. No. The answer is none. Let her cook in the dark. <laughs> that ain't even funny. <laughs>